BFG by Irene BD. BFG takes bad dreams away from children. Don't think. Like. Up. See. Something. Out. Ten. Let's just make a sexy early day. Yuck! Don't stop me. Don't me. I can't fix it. They're both big friends. They see loads of her. Oh. I have a drink. Friends to eat. Freaky. Yeah, that cheap and drop it. Go to tap my queen. No queen, no. I don't want to buy joints so taken away. Me and I. Good morning Britain, welcome to your breakfast news. I'm from MT Sunshine and reporting with Imogen Coombs. Hello, I'm MT Sunshine. I'm here with Jimmy, hello Jimmy, to uh, comment on what a dastardly and evil scenario you came from. Please tell us more on how you felt. Here's PC Pod and he was first on the scene. Can you tell us more? Well, yeah, when I first arrived on the scene, I, the first thing I saw was like, also my pants on a trail. I was like, okay. The second thing I looked at the sort of chart one down the street, not wearing pants or anything. And I was like, okay, this is getting more weird. This is John. He got himself a bit of trouble last night. Can you tell us more? <laughs> Well, we were stuck on a tree and yeah. basically a tug pipe on us and Mr. Twit was looking outside his window and did a double stare and this huge mess, massively long beard and we got stuck so we had to move our trousers. Here I'm with PC Oliver. Oliver, what is your plan to deal with this dastardly garden troublemaker? I was, af I was afraid. And I was scared of him. I'm a little bit scared. You're a police officer. Why are you scared? Because he was scaring me. This is the end of our report in Mr. and Mrs. Twit's garden. I hope you have a swell day. Right, so, Chris, what is that BFG food in front of you there? Um, oh, a cucumber. Yeah, it's like a cucumber. Well done. Holly, what does the BFG call them? Snowcumber. That's right. Okay, now if you turn, if you go zoom in there, there's the snowcumbers. Um, ben, snowcumbers. Nice food or not? No. No. No, no, horrible food, yes. Go on, snowcumber. Okay then. And this drink in the middle here. Um, let's have a look. Can anybody remember what the name of the drink is? Frog summer. Thank Frog. you, Frog Scott. Well Frog done. Mommy. And Holly, what does it make you do? Ah. Yeah, the real stuff does, <laughs> but not our stuff. Absolutely right. And then, what else are we eating here? Why have we got eggs, toast, and sausages? David, who ate the eggs, toast, and sausages? I don't. <laughs> Who did it, David? Wake up, wake up, David. BFG. The BFG. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, folks. Well done. I'll just scan back. That's brilliant. Thank you very much.
Good evening, welcome to the 6 o'clock news. An incident has been reported at Grandmama's cottage over to the live scene. Later in the wood, I came across Miss Robin Hood. But what a change, no cloak of red, no silly hood on her head. She said, and hello, and please note my fairy wolfskin coat. No one has seen the wolf since, and Grandmama is on the mend. Men. Thank you, and good night. <laughs> Welcome to the bed. Barbara's Birds of Bay House. Airport, what are your birds of cold? They have stuck in sky and jumping in the juice and they make people jump too. Hi, my medicine is called Morgan's Spanish Marvelous Magnificent uh, Succulent Supplement Mega Masters. It, is, it, oh, it turns English people into Spanish people. Uh, my medicine is called Ben Spree and Bell and Brew, and it makes people burp up control. The third place is sick of drugs and temperature. Second place, Ben Spree and Burp and Brew. Third place is Morgan Spanish Marvelous Event. <laughs> We'll be making our own candy bars in the factories. I make my strawberry bar with robots to help. Hello, this is my chocolate bar. Tommy smoking chocolate. What smoking chocolate with what you chili? Chocolate doesn't melt. It is vegan with no milk and it tastes spicy. This is my pocket bar. The H-H-Z-H bar stands for Harry Potter's Pocket Bar. Only for uh, uh, one pound and fifty-five. Buy one, get one free. Sponsors, the, the McFlurry at McDonald's. Today's World Book Day, ABR, um, and here we are starting the Rogan and Chocolate Factory. I have this brand new game for World Book Day today. It's I call it the Golden Ticket Game. There are five Wonka bars with one golden ticket inside them. You got three chances to find one golden ticket. Find the golden ticket. If you don't find one, if you use all three chances and didn't find one, you lose. If you manage to find one, you win. I have made a factory for my Stronaldo bar to be made and it's filled with strawberries and two eggs. I have to sign my own caramel bar.
Good boy, Sam. You're well done. Gently.